welcome to um, day 24 of the preset six challenge i am feeling much better today headache is gone i just kind of wonder if maybe i just didn't drink enough yesterday if i was dehydrated even though i did drink water while i was at work i've had um diet diet root beer at first thing in the morning and maybe that made me a little bit dehydrated i don't know but anyways i feel much better so that's great um i can't remember if today is supposed to be an oatmeal or an um yogurt day and i don't feel like i've had yogurt in a really long time so i'm gonna have yogurt that's what I decided. Um, I'm having a silk. I've had this brand. I just haven't had the strawberry yet. So I wanted to try this and tell you guys what I thought about it. See if uh, it's really good. If you guys might want to try it. Yeah, it's not bad. Again, not a huge yogurt fan. And that's actually pretty good. I mean, I'm sure there's enough sugar in it to make it decent. <laughs> that's how you sell uh, yogurt in the store. Just put lots of sugar in it. Um, anyways, I'm still planning on making yogurt at some point in time myself. I uh, bought the boys some, I make granola for the boys, but I also bought some at the store that I found that looks like it's got ingredients that they can have. I just need to make them some yogurt, so I need to do that. Um, but today is yogurt and walnuts, and I've decided to have a couple of yellow kiwis because we have to go grocery shopping tomorrow, and there were still three in the refrigerator, so I decided to eat two of them. So there's my yellow kiwi and some walnuts and my yogurt so this is my breakfast it is 10 37 i am going to go and eat and then um today is a soup day and i haven't actually 100 percent decided which soup i'm going to make i've got lots of options to be honest with you because oh my gosh there's tons of soups available i might go back and do something that i've done before that i really really enjoy which is dr Furman recipe i'm kind of leaning that way but i'll ask my husband if he's got any opinions about supper tonight seeing as if i make soup it'll be something that um he will probably join me in so we'll see Alrighty, guys so um i don't know if we'll exercise this afternoon or if we'll exercise tonight after we eat i'm not actually 100 percent sure usually when i'm home during the day we tend to exercise a little bit earlier in the day but either way i will see you guys for either food next or exercise next and whatever it'll be something see you guys later Alrighty guys, so it is the afternoon and I'm, I'm not working on making supper yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and exercise first with my husband instead. And then apparently he's going to lay down and take a nap because he just told me he's very tired. So maybe we're going to do that. I'm not actually sure what today is. Can you scroll down, Preston, to day 24? Today is... Dun, da, da, da. Oh, try again. It's ab work. Oh, that's exciting. All right, bring that up so we can take a look at it. Yay, abs. Woo! So we're gonna be doing some elbow planks and some up and down planks. Oh yeah, those were no fun at all. Uh, just a 40, a 30 second hold and a 30 second hold. Wasn't it a 40 second hold last time? Yeah, I think so. So that's awesome. So that's actually better. That's like not, not quite as horrible. Although the each side was 20 seconds instead of 30 seconds, but yeah, that's okay. All right, so we're gonna go exercise and um, I will see you guys afterwards and we can actually, I'll just see you guys when it comes time to make some food. I'm making a new recipe that I've never made before. Um, Tuscan roasted tomato something. I don't remember exactly what it's called. But anyway, I think it's going to be fantastic. So we're going to exercise and then it will be time for some food in a little bit. All right, guys. So exercise is done. The planks are horrible. They just are. Um, the 30 second holds were not too bad. The side holds were ridiculous. I don't know why they were so awful this time. Um, but the other, there wasn't, it wasn't too bad. The side holds were the worst for sure. They were not, they were not wonderful at all. Um, I am making Tuscan roasted tomato chickpea soup. It is a Dr. McDougall, um, well, obviously a, a Mary McDougall recipe. I don't think it's Dr. McDougall who makes their recipes by any stretch. <laughs> so anyway, but it's from April, 2012. Um, and it is basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have an onion chopped up. I'm going to put an onion in a pot and one cup of broth and six cloves of garlic minced as well as three teaspoon three quarters of a teaspoon of rosemary dried and thyme dried i'm going to cook that for five or six minutes until the onion starts getting cooked and then after that at that point it's time to put in i've got some roasted uh, fire roasted diced tomatoes that have no salt i've got two cans of these and then i've got three cans of garbanzo beans chickpeas that are open rinsed and drained those so those two things will go in there after that and you put in the remaining broth, which is another six cups of broth. Because I'm going to put one cup in with the um, onions and then the other six cups. So once you've got that all together, you actually end up taking four to five cups of that back out and blending it. It doesn't say to blend it till smooth. It says to blend it till it's chunky, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. 
Um, but then after it's blended, you put it back in your soup. And when, at that point, you also add two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. So that's the balsamic vinegar that I'm going to add back in. Um, and you just reduce that to, um, bring it to a boil, uh, reduce the simmer and cook it for 15 to 20 minutes until the chickpeas are tender, which they're already in a can, so they're not, it's not too big of a deal anyways. They're not gonna be like crunchy or anything. And it does say to season it with pepper and um, it's got a particular salt on there that you would use. I'm not using any salt because I've got veggie broth that I'm using. Um, I totally don't need any additional salt past that for sure. So I'm going to go and get some of this stuff put together and I will um, be back with you guys tonight when it is supper time and we will do a taste testing of this soup and I'm going to serve it with something that um, they are essentially vegan, gluten-free, plant-based Cheez-Its, which um, they're delicious, so they're amazing. Connor had them the other day with um, a whole bunch of hummus. Really, really, really liked it. Like he just wanted to eat the whole bag. Um, and I think my husband had a half a bag of them as a snack last night, maybe something like that. Yeah, he's nodding his head yes. No. Yes, he did. That. No, I wouldn't do that. I was like, why is there only one bag left in the garage with all the other chips rather than the bag in two bags that should have been there? He's like, choo choo choo, not me. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to serve oh, it with please. that because I think that will go really, really well. Like tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwiches go really well. I would assume that a, a Tuscan um, tomato soup will go really well with some Cheez-Its. So vegan, gluten-free Cheez-Its. I'll show you guys those later um, when I get them out. I'm not going to have very many of them, but it says when you have your soup that you can have two slices of bread. So I think that's probably 220 or 240 calories. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember exactly what my bread has in it per slice, um, but I'll probably measure out exactly how many calories I can have for the um, or the crackers to be equivalent and then just have those and that'll be fine. Okay, going to go make some soup and I'll see you guys later when it is supper time and we could try it out and see if it's any good. Alrighty guys, so it is supper time. Um, everything is finished cooking. I want to show you these plant snacks here. Vegan cheddar. I don't remember what a cheese it tastes like because I've been um, gluten free for a lot longer than I've been vegan, but these are really good. So I actually ordered them on Amazon because I was at work and somebody was having Cheez-Its and I was like, oh my gosh, I really want Cheez-Its. So anyways, these are very, very good. Um, and I'm going to have this with my tomato soup. This soup is fantastic. So my husband is not a fan of tomatoes, like at all. He likes them in like salsa and spaghetti sauce and that kind of thing, but he doesn't like chunks of tomatoes. He thinks the soup is okay and he's, going, he's willing to eat it for supper. So it's not, I mean, that's kind of saying a lot to be honest with you. My mom was here, she brought, she was at the grocery store and she picked up a couple things for me and. Anyway, she was here and so she tried it and she was like, oh my gosh, this is like the best thing ever. In fact, she's gonna take my recipe with her, <laughs> which is fine. I'll get it back when I want it. Um, but yeah, this is fantastic. So this is my supper. So I've got my bowl of soup and I did put some corn in it. That was not part of the recipe, but I decided that I wanted some corn in there. Um, actually, my mom says she was going to do that and I was like, oh, that sounds wonderful. So I decided to go ahead and do that too. Um, but this is, Super, super, super fantastic. And I'm going to have some Cheez-Its with it. Vegan Cheez-Its that are gluten-free. So anyways, um, yeah, I would highly recommend if you guys like tomatoes. Mm. That is fantastic. Definitely make that soup. I'll put a link in the description box below for you guys. So, food is on the table. Boys are having banana oat pancakes and um, eggy tofu. And we're, Anthony is having some leftovers and a very small little cute bowl of soup. Um, Cause that's about all that he needs for tomato. <laughs> but this is really good. I would highly recommend that you definitely make this delicious. Alrighty, that's it for me for today, guys. Um, I will see you again tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is what? Tomorrow's a salad day. Salad days are always wonderful days in my house. I love salad days. So, alrighty, I'll talk to you again soon.